Horrors and Gents, welcome to Suji Reaction and this is Time, the History and Future of Everything Remastered by the channel Guz Gazak did a nutshell Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna talk about here time as a scientific concept What is time? Or he's gonna do one of those uh, Bill Woods type of thing He's just gonna, you know, throughout the history what happened what not I don't know, but either way it's gonna be fun He's gonna talk about scientific way Time is really, you know, uh, somewhat, uh, you know fuzzy concept to humans we can't comprehend it i mean it, it makes sense since everything and every everything and everything that happened to human race we evolved throughout the year even you know every species has been inside time so seeing time anything but something that just exists you just measure it it's just something there, anything more than that, and we just start to get, you know, hazy just thinking about it. But yeah, time actually started with the Big Bang. Uh, time actually is a thing that could be slower and faster depending on what, where you are. I think time is basically, you know, uh, every process, your molecules, atoms, requires somewhat of a process, like, you know, the, uh, electrons moves around, you know, the nucleus, and all this process require anything, something to move. So I think that is what time is, like how fast atoms can process how fast electrons can move at a you know given time so uh, gravity influences that so you know if there is a strong strong gravity uh, you'll be slowed down compared to the people who are not with the strong gravity so if somebody is in the space station in uh, you know outer space where that is close to no gravity and if you're somewhere where is that is immense level of gravity you'll be there for a year when you go back to the space station there'll be a long time like 10 15 years depending on what everybody saw that movie interstellar that shows that that you know because of black holes gravity you know matthew mcconaughey and all those people did not age at all but uh, when they went back and that their space station whatever that was you know the guy was old by then so yeah i think it all depends on your process everything's made out of atom in ourselves and if the atom slows down we all slow down we don't even feel it we don't even think it for us you know it just a year went by but for some other people you know time has gone immensely higher but yeah time being anything but something that you can measure thinking about that is just you know dizzying but yeah time is an actual thing that slows down you know speed up so yeah let's watch this one i hope it talks about time as a scientific concept but either way it's fine and remember people if you like my reaction don't forget to like and subscribe check out the reaction Sunday. there's a link in the description check out the cast wall the playlist check out the end card and yeah this is Kuz Gazat video so some of his video gets blocked some of his don't so if you see check out box there it's because it probably got blocked but yeah that's what's this one time makes sense in small pieces but when you look at huge stretches of time it's almost impossible to wrap your head around things so let's start small with minutes, hours, days. You probably spent the last 24 hours mostly sleeping and working, and you probably wasted a good chunk of yesterday on the internet. Days become weeks, weeks become months, and then we have a year. Yeah, I was just traveling from place to place yesterday. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't even put any reaction video because I wasn't even here. So yeah. But yeah, most people just chill out, especially in this, you know, this is seriously true in 2020. 2020 went away, but still, this video was in 2018. So this video was, anybody watched in 2020, like, oh, this is so true. It's quarantine and we just, you know, watching all this, internet all day. Let's look at 2017. France started to train eagles to hunt terrorist drones. A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick their new intern and people on the internet made a challenge out of eating bleach. You know, the usual stuff. In 2017, a nuclear plant in Czech Republic held a bikini contest just to pick their interns. A new time was a, you know, a, a changing variable thing throughout the space. I didn't know it was changing variable thing on the one particular planet, because apparently Czech Republic is living really in the past, even at 2017. Damn. <laughs> Let's go back further. A kid born in the first year of the 21st century is 18 years old now. But the century is still young, even if you're not. 
It was largely shaped by the attacks on 9-11, which led to the war in Afghanistan and the invasion oh, of Iraq. God. In March 2011... Oh, God, as soon as he said that, it's like so damn true. 21st century is a technological scientific boom of a century. We see, oh, this is just going to be great. But let's be honest, it started in 2001. 9-11 happened. That massive war on Afghanistan is still going on today. Iraq war and lots of things. It's just, ugh, in that sense, it was really horrible. Yeah, it's a scientific boom, but look at that. Look at how it started. Evan, the Syrian civil war began and is still ongoing after seven years. Most of us were born in the 20th century, which had the two most devastating wars in human history and the Cold War. It is there. For the first time ever, we could destroy ourselves with nuclear weapons and we almost did, but we also had a space race. And that is true. In 20th century, there was war, two world wars. So, yeah. But at least it didn't start with something bad. It had promised the automotive, automobile industry was, you know, exploding at the start of 20th century. Left Earth for the first time. The internet was also invented, which led to memes, but also to Facebook and Twitter. So, all in all, we're not sure if this was a good development. The average human lives about seven Dude, if internet didn't become popular, you wouldn't be a thing. So for you, it's a really good thing. ...29 years, which covers a good chunk of recent history. The oldest living person on Earth is currently Salino Jaramillo, who was born in 1896, which means that his birth was closer to Napoleon ruling Europe than to the current day. Only 250 years ago, the Industrial Revolution turned the world into a progress machine. Farmers became workers and knowledge became easier to distribute. Around this time, we started the progress that is causing climate change today. Not that long ago, actually. The theory of evolution changed how we saw ourselves and the world we live in. Newton wrote down his theory of gravity. We discovered distant stars and very close bacteria. God, since Newton, all the major scientific advancement happened after that. It's ridiculous to see how that is in such a small time window comparing to this. Damn, everything from Industrial Revolution, you know, uh, Newton, Einstein, uh, even the, you know, influence on technology, quantum physics. Ugh. Oh, this is so, that's in a, such a small time window, man. The 15th century was very eventful. Columbus's discovery of America and the fall of Constantinople marked the end this of the Middle Ages. Discovers, he puts in quarters and marks. War was all the rage in the Middle Ages, but the number one killer was disease. The Black ah. Plague killed every third European in just six years. Around 2,000 years ago, we set the arbitrary year one of our calendar that most of the world follows today. Yeah. Everybody during the last year was fearing that all the deaths and all the things that are happening, people are going to see rise in depression, economies will not, uh, you know, rise up. You know, this is going to be really devastating. Dude, today economies are de doing really good. We are having influence on technology. Look at the science all around you. You know, the future is promising in that sense. During the, you know, black death, that plague, None of those things were saying they were they were farmers. Lots of times their crops got destroyed because of some plague during that time. You go hungry. Those time was really effed up. At that time, third of the Europe died. Nobody went to depression. World moved on. So you know, last year people were like just chill out, man. I know this is effed up, but you're you're making out to be even worse than it is. You know, world is going to be fine, man. But to a Roman, the world was already ancient. The Great Pyramids were constructed four thousand five hundred yeah. years ago. So, to a Roman, the pyramids were older than the Romans are to us today. So long ago... It is seriously true. Right now, we see as technology as really advanced and, you know, we are really advanced civilization in the 21st century. That's how we see us today. But that's because all the technology we have right now. During the Romans' time, Greeks were already a thing. Greek came and all that thing happened. And during the Greeks' time, uh, Greeks... Uh, you know, found lots of fundamental basis of science at the time. Greeks discovered a lot of things. There were lots of philosophers. So for Romans, they're like, you know, Greeks happened. And now we, we also have lots of great scientists and philosophers. So, you know, we are really living in advanced age compared to those people during the pyramids. So I think they felt same as we are feeling today at that time. And they, were, they had all these stone structures and all these buildings and, you know, societies and things. 
So yeah, it is really ridiculous to see that it, they felt same as us today. So that makes us wonder, after 2000 years, what technology is going to be there that they are going to think, look at those people at 21st century, they think they are really advanced. But they were meh at best. They were literally, uh, you know, in science term, they were literally playing with stick and stones. It's just basis of science. Look at us today. What would people in four, you know, 4,000, 40, uh, 41st century or whatever they would think? That there were still living mammoths on Earth. A lot of history happened before that even. Around 7,000 years ago, humans began writing things down. About 12,000 years ago, human organization exploded. We built our first temple, and around the world, mankind began farming, which enabled the rise of larger communities. Our dominance over planet Earth really begins here. Homo sapiens sapiens, the modern human, evolved at least... I think after the Great Pyramids, the tallest structure we built was the Eiffel Tower in Paris. That was a long, long time. Near 4,000 years time before we built anything taller. But yeah, nowadays, look at all these taller structures. It dwarfs anything people made in the past. So I think when you see as a scale of past four, five thousand years, you see how people progress and you see how we progress in past just one or two centuries. It just looks ridiculous. 200,000 years ago. 50,000 years ago, the cognitive revolution expanded our minds and innovation. Back then, we shared Earth with at least five other human species that either died out or were killed by us. At least two million years same ago, thing. our ancestors <laughs> either died out or killed by us. For us, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, dying is dying. Whether I kill you, you die yourself, who cares? This <laughs> has already had control over fire and constructed tools from wood and stone. And six million years ago, the last common ancestors of chimpanzees and humans existed. So, this graph is all of human history. Our close relative Homo erectus survived ten times longer than we have existed. This tiny part is the human era. We have to zoom in a lot to even see your lifetime. Still, all of human history is not that long. 65 million years ago, the age of the dinosaurs ended in an enormous explosion. The dinosaurs ruled the Earth for over 165 million years, 27 times as long as all humans. Yeah. That's so long that it means a T-Rex that lived 65 million years ago is closer to us today than to a live Stegosaurus. Damn, yeah. Dinosaurs in the form of mighty chickens are still around today. Animal life on this planet started 600 million years ago. The earliest animals were fish and other small simple sea creatures. And stuff. Then came insects, then reptiles, and finally around 200 million years ago, mammals joined the party. Life itself began much further back. There is evidence that it appeared up to 4.1 billion years ago. For at least 3.5 billion years... Yeah, the thing is about life, you know, uh, life started as soon as it could have, when the conditions were right. Before that, the you know, the entire planet, everything was so hot, there is no way life would have existed. But as soon as it called down just at the right amount, life came into play. So that's why people say that life didn't wait around. It, it wasn't a very recent thing. Life became a thing on the planet as soon as it could have as soon as the conditions were right. So that's why people uh, use this argument like life must be abundant throughout the universe because as soon as the conditions were right here, life came into play. It's not like something happened, some asteroid came from the distance, you know, some kind of a comet or whatever brought the life and then later on there was a life. No, as soon as the conditions were right, you know, life came into play. So th th this gives me hope like there must be a lot of lives. It doesn't have to be intelligent life like us or even complex. It could be simple. But yeah, simple lives could be a lot of that and by the, you know, uh, even if it might be rare, I would like to think complex life would be there too since the universe is so vast. Life consisted only of single-celled organisms. 4.5 billion years ago, the sun was born from a gigantic imploding gas cloud. 60 million years later, Earth formed. In those early years, frequent bombardment by comets and asteroids supplied the Earth with large oceans. But as far as the whole universe goes, our solar system is pretty new. 13.75 billion years ago, 
the universe was born, and about half a billion years later, our own galaxy formed from billions of stars. But what came before the Big Bang? The truth is, we don't know, and yeah. maybe we never will. Yeah. And there you have it, the past. Now let's take a look. Our fundamental understanding of how to measure what happened, didn't happen in the past, is based on the light. There was no light before Big Bang, so it's going to be extremely hard to find out what happened before Big Bang, or why Big Bang happened in the first place. Look at what we know about the future. In roughly one billion years, the sun will be so hot that life on Earth becomes impossible. The death of the sun four billion years later marks the end of life in the solar system. If we want to have a chance to survive, we need to have ventured to the stars. And what happens after that? In the next 100 billion years, most of the bigger stars around will die. The universe becomes dimmer and dimmer, illuminated only by small... Big stars, not the stars like sun. Big star, giant star that don't live that long. ...smaller red and white dwarfs. But they too will eventually burn out, and one day, the last star in the universe will die. The universe will turn dark. And at some point, even black holes will evaporate and die. In a Google year. When they do, our universe will reach its final stage, heat death. Nothing changes anymore. The universe is dead. Forever. Now, you're feeling some pretty weird feelings right now, aren't you? We are too. It's only natural. The good news is, this is all far, far away. Yeah. The only time that actually matters is now. That cute girl or boy you like, ask them out. Time is precious. Make it count. One of the questions we get asked the most is how we make animated videos. Yeah, people, go to skillset.com for says Kuzgzakt2 and support that channel. Yeah, um, universe will die, but it's an extremely long time. It would be so weird that humans survive all the time. And at the time where even the last star, we are hanging on to the last star just to live. And the last star dies and we still are around there and slowly die. That would be so effed up. I'm pretty sure at, at that point, we would figure out how to create our own stars somehow. Uh, yeah, it's it's a stretch though. Looking that far in the distance is much a stress, stretch. Black holes will die in a Google year. I can't even comprehend that number. But yeah, uh, Google Plex is not even going to be in the question. Google year is enough for everything to die. So yeah, that was time. It was a great video. All right, people. If you like my Rickson, don't forget like and subscribe. Check out the Rickson. There's a link in the description. Check out the cast for the playlist. Check out the end cards. And yeah, I'll see you next time.